In this video, we're going to take a look at the new features in QuickQ 803 Beta. 803 Beta includes enhancements to effects, a new Q faders window, and updates to how fixtures are unpacked, and most importantly, the install time on macOS systems. So here, I'm running QuickQ Designer on my PC, and QuickQ Designer replicates the interface uh, of a QuickQ console. So in the center here would be my screen of my console with my physical faders below, and the left-hand faders you'd have on the physical board. I've also got a visualizer inbuilt to the QuickQ Designer software. You can open up your visualizer and the faders from the menu bar here if you open the Designer software and you don't see those straight away. So first off, let's take a look at effects. I'm gonna select my wash fixtures on the back of the stage here, six of them, and switch them on. If I go to the color window and go to effects here, you'll see we've added some new effects. You've got these new effects called two, three, and four color. These are what we call palette effects. By selecting one of these, Effects will ask me to select one of my palettes, which I've recorded, or maybe one of the pre-recorded palettes we give you in the software. So you can record your own custom color palettes or use the ones we give you, up to you. So once I select two color, will ask me to pick two palettes then, two colors, two palettes. So if I said blue and then said white, would add a blue and white effect over my wash lights, as you can see here. You can see your palettes at the bottom of the screen that you selected, blue and white. And of course, in our earlier QuickQ8 betas, we added some new effects control. So that effect is running forward at the moment. I can change it to run backwards. I can have it going then center in or center out by hitting the button here and then toggling here to run out or in or have it run random. I'm gonna go back and just have it running forwards like so. If I want to change the palette used, you simply click on the step you want. So blue, change it for red. And now I've got a red and white. If I want to change the red out, white, click on that and click on a new color and that's now changed. Again, change it back again, click, scroll, select new color and it's been updated. Of course, you've got your modifiers around the edge of the screen for width, uh, speed, parts and crossfade. Once you're happy with your effect, I'm going to go to my Q faders. So left hand side of the console, the multifunction faders, I'm going to put them in Q mode. I'm going to go to record and I'm gonna click on number 15, which is empty, and store that as a queue. The left-hand faders are single queue only faders, which can, of course, have effects in them uh, as well as static uh, queues in them, but they're only single queue, they're not multi-queue stacks, they're not chases or theater queue stacks. Hit my clear button, and on queue stack 15, there's my effect I recorded. The new window we've got under menu here is our queue faders window, and here you can see your 20 queue faders on the left side here, and you can now label them in this window and you can see their status as well. You'll notice I activate my circle fills to show me it's active and I could grab say uh, number 12 here and you can see when I activate it fills a circle, do the same with number 10 and it would show me when I've activated or how far the fader is when I'm in queue mode. Now most importantly you can now label your queues in this window so I can go action, click on the item, rename it and give it a name. Uh, it was washes, red, magenta. So I know that I've got an effect on there, it's all labeled up nicely. These new palette effects we've given you, if I switch off my fixtures, so I'm going to go action, uh, release all, to switch everything off, go to home, I'm going to select my spots this time, I'm going to switch them on. I went to color last time, I'm going to go to position now. Under effects, you've also got uh, palette effects for position as well. So you've got two position, three position, four position, and you've also got the damped position as well on those two, three, and four as well. They work in exactly the same way. So if I said two position, and then I say up and down, it's added my two palette effects on there. Again, you can use your own palette, so you can have your lights, a palette that you record, left side of a stage, right side of a stage, and your effect would go between those two positions. So check those out in intensity, position, color beam, and have a look at how we've enhanced those in this version of software. Along with the queue window as well, we've also enhanced our visualizer window. So if I expand up my viz window here, if I grab the corner and make the window bigger, go to window and I change that to my plot view. In the plot view, in design mode, in the earlier version eight uh, betas, we added design mode so you can now arrange your visualizer and set up your stage for the viz on the software. But we've added now in here some further enhancements. So if I go onto a truss and I go and drop down the truss and say select one of the spots, we've added the hang types and how they're hung on there and ways of moving it. So you've got this relative and absolute there, 
which allows me to then move fixtures that are attached onto a truss. So I've got a spot, it's attached to a truss, but I want to slide it up or down the truss. You can now do that in this version of the software. Uh, you select your mode here, and then you simply type in the new position and it would move it along the truss. One of the other major changes we've made to this version of the software, but you won't see, it's kind of an under, hood, under the hood change to the software, is that we've added uh, a new way that heads or fixtures as we call them in QuickQ uh, are expanded and installed when you're installing the software. So particularly on Mac based systems where the install time of QuickQ Designer was uh, rather slow, this has now been dramatically increased uh, to now just sort of a you know, less than a minute install time. So you can now install much faster. Take a look at that. You shouldn't notice any difference in terms of operation of a console other than you don't need to make a cup of tea when you wait for the software to install anymore. So that's QuickQ 803 uh, Beta. Do take a look at the website, download it and give it a try out.